What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, Samira, this is a League of Legends champion from Noxus I am going to be covering today. Last week we covered Rel, and the week before that we covered Riven. Yeah, we've got uh, Sion, who else have we got? Sion, Vladimir and Talon, still to do for Noxus. And then we're going to move on to Zarn to tie nicely with the upcoming series from Arcane. Anyways, today we're focusing on Samira. Um, so what am I going to do? I'm going to do what I always do, which is go through her bio, her story, any form of lore, her spotlight, special interactions. I'm going to also review her skins and give you my top three as well. And anything else I think might be of interest along the lines of Samira as well. I'll time start the whole thing as I always do. So without further ado, let's kick things off with the bio. So Samira, the Desert Rose. Huh. Okay, nice picture. <laughs> so, the desert rose in the city of Amakara. 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 Or is it Am. Amkra. Amakara. It's Amakara. 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 Let me just double. Whoa. Easy now. Hold up. Let me just double check that. Is it going to give me a sound? No, it's not. Amakara. Oh, it. Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, why is this no Diablo? Is it? It is that. Whoa, oi! I'm gonna have to react to that. One of the best I've seen. Um, Items conquer settle. Nope, that has got nothing to do with it. Oh, the birthplace of Malzahar as well. Okay, I'm gonna call it Amak Amakara. Okay, so let's continue. In the city of Amakura, on the eastern edge of the Great Sai, Samira and her parents made a living as street performers. They dazzled, beguiled, and awed onlookers, which thrilled Samira, but worried her parents. Despite the fun their daughter had, they wished she could enjoy a more stable life. But wishes are as fickle as the desert rain. Okay, on the eve of Samir's 14th birthday, armed strangers swarmed Amakura. <laughs> Hidden among the rafters of her home, Samira watched as strangers invoked the name of the, an ancient Magus, or Magus and seized innocent villagers. Many people were slain before her eyes, so a great start to her adolescence. Samira did not cry, she did not scream. Innocent, she seethed in anger, not at the killers, but at herself for hiding. Not much she can do. She had never felt crippled by fear before, even when she attempted the most daring stunts. In that moment, Samira hated herself and vowed never to feel so scared and helpless again. Though wounded, Samira, though wounded, Samira and her parents escaped to Belzaun, a port city, so a port, yeah, city under Noxus rule, with a handful of others. To the Amkarans, Noxus provided a safe haven. To Samira, Noxus opened a door. This is the thing about Noxus as well. A lot of the stories of champions that originate or at least um, move to Noxus. It's usually from like some form of um, some form of disaster, some form of conflict. They've got nothing left, and Noxus obviously gives them a hope. Clearly, this is another example. While other refugees found comfort in living quietly, Samira was determined to reclaim her courage. She took to the streets alone since her parents. She took to the streets alone since her parents, weary and injured, could not. Performing was no longer a job; it was her stage. It was her stage to be fearless. She outdid herself with every stunt. All right, so she's a performer. What kind? Even when no one bothered to look, but it was still not enough to support her family. That was when Samira stumbled upon a call to join no a Noxian warband. Drawn to the excitement and the financial resources it would provide, she enlisted. Her physical prowess amazed her peers. Deaf with a blade and sharp with her aim, Samira revealed in her raw athleticism, excelling in combat, but faltering in discipline. After two years of training, her reckless frustration her recklessness frustrated her commanding officers, save for one, Captain Indarai. A former saboteur, Indarai valued Samira's fearlessness and offered her a position in her private warband, a specialised unit charged with missions that were deemed too perilous for standard military personnel. Okay. Hungry for the dangers it promised, Samira agreed without hesitation. Okay. She fully embraced Noxian culture, finding her own strength and style amid life and death shootouts and breathtaking sword fights. That's what I like about the champion Samira. She has a gun and also a sword. Yeah, I like it. In her free time, Samira regaled her family with stories of her tattoos, each representing only her most unforgettable feats. 
To her, what mattered most was challenging herself to turn danger into thrill and thriving off the constant risk that made her truly, or shall I say feel, truly alive. On orders from the capital, Indare's unit found themselves on the rock run plains sent to crush a secessions, uh, secessionist uprising. As the warband located the enemy stronghold and approached the rebel leader, the fortress exploded. Okay. Samira dove headfirst into the chaos as the structure collapsed, permanently injuring her left eye, also her right eye. So is Katarina's le is it Katarina's left and her right? It is Katarina's left, isn't it? Feeling neither scared nor helpless, she wasted no time in recovering Indare, who had sustained a more serious injury. The captain could no longer move her legs. Indare, frustrated at her failure as their leader, disbanded the unit upon the return of its survivors. Discharging with no opportunities rousing her interest, Samira drifted back home to Belzan, uh, Belzun, 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 but it was no longer a lifestyle she could endure. Samira, um, Samira returned to the Noxian capital and located in Darai. She believes her former captain understood her craving for challenges in ways nobody else could and wanted to make use of Indara's connections in the military and noble houses. She proposed they team up again in the new partnership where Indara could operate behind the scenes to find Samira high stakes mercenary work. She's got a love, um, Katerina, though. They're basically the same amount, though. Reluctantly, Indira agreed, but it's left her former protégé alone with no field support, and Samira couldn't have been any happier. <laughs> she eagerly undertook missions meant for entire warbands and thrived. Just thinking about it now, that'd be a great duo, wouldn't it? Katerina and Samira. I think that'd work. That would work, actually. Yeah. Anyway, her daredevil reputation spread far and wide, from beating a Chem Baron in hand-to-hand -hand combat to being the lone survivor of a build war raid, Samira completed every job no matter the odds. When Indira's support, either the Noxian High Command or Indira's support, even though Noxian High Command accepted her, recognising there was no better, no one better suited to take on their most perilous missions. Now Samira shows no sign of slowing down, she can be found scaling mountain cliffs one day and arm wrestling outlaws in crowded taverns the next. But whenever she may be, wherever she may be, one thing is certain, Samira never fails to find her next big thrill love it love it typical noxin as well always living on the edge like draven like darius to a certain extent as well and also like katarina so that was a good start interesting start um to samira finding out a little bit about her backstory as well and tiny nicely actually with draven and darius they had kind of like a um, a sad upbringing or a kind of a yeah a kind of a sad upbringing but they're taken on by noxus then they find out that there's, a, there's hope for them there's progression for them in noxus as well very similar to what we find out from samira anyways what i'm going to do now is i'm going to move on to her skins let's go so this is samira it looks like she's only got three skins only got three skins but now actually coming to think about it she is quite new she's probably only come out maybe about maybe less than a year ago. Anyways, this is the original base skin. Samira stares death in the eye with unblind, unyielding confidence, seeking thrill wherever she goes. After her Shereeman home was destroyed as a child, Samira found her true calling in Noxus, where she built a reputation as a stylish daredevil taking on dangerous missions in the highest caliber. Wielding black powder pistols and a custom engineered blade, Samira thrives in life or death circumstances, eliminating anyone who stands in her way with flash and flair. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, there's elements. You can see elements of her design as, as Shuriman. There's definitely, obviously, the major tone is Noxon. Um, and a little bit of Bilgewater. Maybe it's the coin. Maybe it's the coin that I'm linking to Pike. But there's a little bit of Bilgewater in there as well. Uh, but yeah, love love her base skin there as well. So the next one is Psyops. Now, this one, Psyops, is actually one of my favorites. I did a review on Psyops maybe two or so months back where I reviewed all the skins. This one was one of my top skins from Psyops. It might have been number two, actually after pike so fearless and deadly samira was once renowned a renowned soldier of fortune a born thrill seeker she fights not for fame or wealth but to push the limits of her skill which you find out a little bit in the bio through intense training her innate psychic powers have been fully unleashed allowing her to turn every mission and every kill into a thrilling display of stylish flair yeah this skin just just does it for me really really good i like i like the psyops theme in general psyops and projects are probably my two favorite themes Closely followed by Blood Moon, which I don't think I've done a review for. Anyways, um, yeah, I just really like this theme. 
really really good and then finally we have space groove <laughs> okay space groove so a groovy thrill seeking bodyguard and elite warrior from the hot tub nebula <laughs> similar to job directly from the three-party goddess to save looks from an impending invasion of the normal world because obviously and if yeah <laughs> you got normal world and you have the hot tub nebula now as the pair liberate planets across the galaxy samira must do everything in her power to keep Lux safe both from Lysandra and from Lux's own lack of self-preservation preservation instincts. <laughs> kind of hard to take it seriously when it was like that. I like the kind of funky, like, like disco vibes in it. It's like 70 discos vibes. Space Groove Samira. So yeah, technically there's only three skins. One of them is the base. So I can't really give him a top three, but out of the three there, Obviously, for me, Cyprus is my favourite one. What I will do, do is very similar to other champions that are quite new. Once I've got a few more skins, I will probably go back and review and rank them. Uh, I'll give you my top three. So, yeah, um, Cyprus is my favourite one for now. So, what I'm going to do next is I am going to move on to her story. Let's go. In fact, no, no, no. I'm going to move on to her login theme first, then her story. Okay. The Desert Rose. pause already like i was saying before there's a hint of bilge water in her original design here and i can hear i'm hearing it in the theme as well definitely there's more bilge water theme in this theme than shireen <laughs> Okay, now we're getting Shurima. Now we're getting Shurima. Definitely, without doubt, the second half of this login theme is without doubt Shereeman. Just listen to this. So clearly Shereeman, but this beginning part. Let me find it. There. That's 
definitely builds you up if you ask me. The, what else, what, one other thing I will say is this. The back end feels just a little bit rushed in my opinion. The tempo's too high. This part. Is it here? Here. That there, it's fast paced. That there should have been. I feel like I said there needs to be a little bit more of a pause there before it drops. Yeah, it's cool though. The login theme's cool. Don't get me wrong. When it's going up against <laughs> so many other epic login themes, it's not quite as good. It's not quite as good as some of the ones I've listened to, uh, Camille, for example. Um, but it's decent though, it's decent. I also would have liked if the tempo was a little bit slower. But yeah, what I do like about it is you've got elements of her past, you've got elements of Shirima in there, also Noxus in there, and definitely, in my opinion, Bill's Water as well. Anyways, so that's that, that's that one done. Uh, let me now move on to the story. Let's go. So, Daredevil Impulse. The weapon shop looked grimy, just the way Samira liked it. A sign hung askew on the door, Lani and Miel munitions. Samira heard about this Noxus hole in the wall from Captain Indara, who received a tip from one of her old Sabotor connections. That and the fact the apprentices here moonlighted as tattoo artists was enough to intrigue um, Samira. Say Shirima. She stepped in and Indari followed. The captain didn't need to tag along, but it wasn't like Samira could tell her otherwise. Inside, Samira smelled molten iron and saw tools rarely found in Noxus armories. A chirpy woman with two labyrinth piercings welded Zarnite brass while her partner, a woman built like an ox, cleaned their hex carbide. The tattooed apprentices helped whenever they could. How much coin you wasting today, Indare asked, adjusting the hand rims on her wooden wheelchair. Her voice carried the strength of many decades in service to the Empire. Impia. Years ago, her disapproval would have stung. Now, annoying the captain was just a bonus. Not nearly as much as I'd like to see, um, Samira saw two pistols displayed in glass. Hmm. One had a colour of charcoal. The other was a revolver, sleek and silver. Both contained untested Zarnite innovations. These are easy on the hands as they are on the eyes, Samira asked. They've, they're the best we've got, the, weld, the welder shouted. Miel and I've made them with materials imported from back home, my home, that is, will cost you a fortune. Samira threw a stack of coins on the counter, behind it and there I crossed her arms. That's the whole payout from your last mission. Samira smiled, a woman's got to have the right equipment to do the job. Besides, the last firearms I had weren't that exciting. <laughs> and there I shook her head, Sam, even for you, this is reckless. Samira beamed, just like you taught me. Hmm. Okay. Chapter 2. The journey into the southern jungles took weeks, and to Samira's disappointment, not even one person had tried to kill her. Standing near a large stone building, she double-checked the location the captain had marked on her journal. A compound near Quelathi... Quelathlala. Rumoured to house a weapon that threatened the Empire. Hmm. Orders were to retrieve the weapon and leave. No survivors. The building devoid of markings loomed before her. Its wooden door smashed to pieces. Huh? Samiri mused. She stepped forward, someone was beat to it, then stopped herself. Lifting up her right boot, she picked off a piece of wrapped iron stuck to the metal clasp. Strange, she thought, staring at its unusual shape. Then came rushed footsteps. Two guards faced her, wielding spears. Another intruder one shouted, don't let this one get away. My kind of welcoming party. Samira drew her pistols, sliding her, sliding to her right. She unloaded a few of bullets, executing the guards before they were within spear's length. Pause in charm. Samira's brow furrowed. Not much of a challenge now, was it? She passed on, sprinting louder past metal debris in the corridor of the compound, frigging this would be the best way to attract everyone's attention. War masons alerted to the incursion ran towards her. Round two. Let's make this fun. Out in the corner of her eye, she saw a table shoved against the wall. Samira rushed forward and jumped onto it. Leaping off the tabletop, she spun in a wild circle, moving down her pursuers in a blaze, mowing down her pursuers in a blaze of gunfire before her feet hit the ground. With that rest, she hopped over a crushed balcony to land in the open courtyard. Nearby was another building, its door smashed apart, so someone's beat it to it. Someone must have beat me to this weapon, she thought, smirking. In action. Been years since that's happened. Samira's pulse quickened, hearing the faintest rumble. She spun around, guns pointing forwards. Two massive figures charged into the courtyard. Samira smiled. Balisks, lucky me. Atop each was an armoured soldier wielding a bladed axe. The hair on Samira's arms rose in excitement. Lucky here, target practice. See here for the Null Kid too? 
Ah, is it Rel? One of the soldiers asked. Because we found out last week that Rel's the one that's searching for these null kids because obviously she, in essence, she made them null, but she wants to save them from the same abuse, in essence, that she suffered. So you, I'm going to say this is Rel. Doesn't matter, kid's gone. Yeah, doesn't matter, kid's gone. And this one looks nothing like the early intruder, said the second soldier, turning to Samira. What, what, ah, and that's the metal. Because Rel can manipulate metal. Right, what are you? Samir raised an eyebrow. What? Uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, an eyebrow. Probably the one on the on the left side. Or maybe the right side. What What I am is the last thing you'll see. Ha, that one's got a mouth. Yeah, a bullet tore into his head. What a shame, Samir said, checking her revolver. Wasted my last round on him. The soldier fell dead to the ground. His ballast roared, charging head first towards Samira. It's just snapping. Come and get it, beast. Samira crouched, she felt her heart race, but didn't move a muscle. Won't be a thrilling until the ballast drew close. Samira's fingers itched just the right moment. She reached back, back. she reared back her arms and chucked her guns at its eyes, dazing the beast for a moment. Turning her back, she leapt into the air, flipping her body in a perfect backward circle before landing on the creature's saddle. Pulling the reins taunt, she jerked her mount to face the remaining soldier. The soldier growled. Rel send you to I knew him. Rel send you to clean up this mess. Nope, never heard of him. Nox has sent me, Samira answered, enjoying her foe's confusion. Sometimes I'm sent to save the strong, other times her eyes locked with the soldiers to cull the weak. Enraged the soldier forced his mount forward. Samira loosened her grip and whispered go. Her ballast launched forward to meet the other rider. <clears throat> he came at her with axe high held high, aiming for her neck. <laughs> and it's a tut tut common mistake. Samir arched her back as her mount met his, dodging his, his slash and unseizing her sword in swift motion. With a crescent, crescent swing, she shook her blade at his stomach. Nice. The soldier roared, That won't work on this armour. Darling, I don't work. I slay. <laughs> Darling, I don't work. I slay. Swag. Love it. Samira pumped the slide barrel attached to the dull edge of her blade and pulled the trigger. Black powder burst out be behind her sword, forcing the blade forward to break open the soldier's armour. With an excited yell, she split his torso apart before leaping off her mount to land on her feet. Smoke ballooning off her sword. She has a sword, she has a gun, and she has a gun sword. Kind of like Final Fantasy. Eight? Final Fantasy eight. Both ballast now riderless stood still. Samira cut their saddles off as the beast fled to their freedom. She kicked the dead bodies aside, uh, retrieving her empty pistols. On the other side of the courtyard, a crumbling stairway spiraled downward beyond the building's smashed doors. Samira followed it to the remnants of a stone prison cell, wrapped pieces of metal scattered everywhere, which is obviously real. The front door was destroyed while the back wall was torn asunder, leaving a gaping hole that tunnelled out into the jungle. What were they keeping in here? So maybe this null child that Rel was after, maybe wasn't null after all. Samira walked around the space examining the destruction, split by jagged shards of metal with a small cot filled with wool. A small cot filled with a child. Shrugging, she took a seat, reaching into her pocket and pulled out a flask. With her boots resting on the wreckage, she leaned back and raised the flask high into the air. Congratulations, weapon. Whatever or whoever you are, you've got my attention. So maybe the child which was in this cot is the weapon. Weeks later, Samira was back in the weapon shop. A skeptical Indare sat nearby as a burly male apprentice touched up Samira's tattoos with bronze needles. Anything new today, he asked. Nah, not quite thrilling enough, but something dangerous is on the way, so leave some space. Indare rolled her eyes. So, how were they? Exquisite. I'll be playing with the playing with these for a while. Wow, Windari said, uh, freeing um, admiration. The great desert rose, reusing guns. Life's full of surprises. Samira placed a handful of <laughs> life's full of surprises. Samira placed a handful of coins on the counter before walking out. Keep the mission coming, Captain. She said with a salute. You know where to find me. Indari wheeled after her. What do you mean? I know where to find you. Last time you were jumping off some remote cliff in. Shirima, my scouts nearly died trying to locate you, but Shirima, um, but Samira was already gone. Frustrated, Indara returned to the shop. One of these days, she mumbled under her breath, she'll have to fend for herself. The tattoo artist, now without the guise of dark sorcery, walked out from the shadows to reveal a woman's shape, her face pale under the light. Captain Indara, you will never, you will give her whatever she wants. 
the Empire needs. Samira. The tattooed artist, now without the guise of a dark of dark sorcerer, walked out from the shadows to reveal a woman's shape, her face pale under the light. So this is the pale faced woman. Is this LeBlanc? Hmm. Maybe it is. So that was really good. Really good. The Daredevil Impulse. Good story. Um from uh, I keep saying Sharima. Good story from <laughs> Samira and interesting to the connection between her and Rel as well and also more importantly this weapon actually had turns out to be a child so maybe we might get some more developments of that as the law progresses so what am I going to do now I'm going to finish off in fact I'm not going to finish off I'm going to do her um, special interactions and then I'm going to finish off with her spotlight let's go I know you're type driven <laughs> the kind of man who's compensating for something <laughs> love her voice love her voice if I was to imagine how Samira's gonna sound, this is how it is. You're sad mummy! My mama used to tell stories about you when I was a girl. I love it. How I loved them. Love it. Shurima needs no emperor. Ooh, be fair. That gauntlet would be better off without you, kid. You seem kind of pale, LeBlanc. There you go. Sure you're getting enough, son. <laughs> Sarah, is it? I've killed many captains. Let's see how you measure up. Oh. A talking turtle? Okay, maybe I did have one too many. <laughs> Sivir, you say you'll do anything for the right price, but what's the price of one's destiny? Hey, old man, <laughs> how long you got before that demon takes over? <laughs> I'd love a response. Honestly, Lantern Man? I need a response. Not sure you can handle my soul. Uh, probably not. If it looks like a bloodsucker and it sounds like a bloodsucker, maybe I ought to kill it. <laughs> Zerath, your people ended my home. I will end your existence. Oi. Eh, I'm not here to make friends. Poor Mumu. Don't worry, Azir. You'll be remembered as a tyrant. Hmm. Ah, what was your dumb name again? <laughs> Leave the kid, take the gauntlet. <laughs> we killed him. Not the first LeBlanc I've killed. Probably not the last either. Yep. Your guns have a better home now, Sarah. Not sure if I just killed an Ascended or some kid's lost pet. <laughs> ah, well. Maybe a mixture of both. Yes, you don't need to run from destiny anymore, Sivir. Be thankful I got to you before your demon did. Don't say I didn't warn you, Lantern Man. <laughs> Lantern Man. Ugh, gross. At least my boots are looking brighter. Shurima, no, the world is better off without you, Zera. Yep, the guy is a bit of a traitor, isn't he? Maybe you should have smiled more. Flawless. Idiot. I love a reload as well. Yes. Yeah, Not sorry. It's clean. Yeah. Done and dusted. Lucky for you, the last thing you saw was me. Messy, but effective. Oh, did I step on your moment? <laughs> My time is precious. Your life is not. Okay. Ha! I win! Oh, ho, ho. I'm just getting started. Let me stab you. Oh, Here we go. I missed a freaking cliff diving trip for this crap. It's all right if you don't like me. We can't all have good taste. Believe me, I faced worse. Nice respawn. Live fast, yeah. die young. Another round, anti up. Look out, guys, gals, and other pals. <laughs> Samira's back. <laughs> 
That's good. Name Samira. Try not to slow me down. If you can't keep up, don't step up. I don't have time for fools. Listen up, you sorry lot. Only one rule for this mission. Take no prisoners. Typical Noxus. I've got two rules for every fight. Don't ask for permission, don't ask for forgiveness. The term PSYOPs, short nice. for Psychic Operations. My name's Samira, short for Styling on Idiots. <laughs> styling on Idiots. I command BRG whatever. I go where the thrill goes. Refugee, mercenary. The inspiration of a generation. If they think I kill for fame and fortune, ha! They're idiots, just like all the others. I chose this life. And sure, someday it might get me killed. But till then, I'm unstoppable. Those who follow Realist. the Ascended burned away my home. So don't expect me to follow anyone. Indari was a great captain. She taught me how to shoot. <laughs> I taught myself how to kill. I care most about my warband or my family. Order changes depending on who gets on my nerves. Born in Shurima, raised by Noxus. Maybe I'll die in Demacia to make things interesting, huh? That would be, that would be kind of interesting. People always ask about my weapons. Right hand blaze, left hand thorn. Vanquish on the back? <laughs> Simple as that. Sometimes I'm the hero, the other times I'm the villain. It's all a matter of perspective. Growing up, my mom taught me one lesson. Death isn't the scariest thing. It's a mother's rage. <laughs> Darius, Swain, <laughs> those names mean little to me. I answer to myself. Virtues? I've got a few. Vices. She's like a, <laughs> a rogue Darius and she. Some choose steel, others bullets. Why not both? In every girl, there is a queen. I am the beauty and the beast. Hmm. Only okay. need one eye to hit my mark. Well-behaved women don't make it in Noxus. I'm not built to win. I'm built to conquer. Oh, how great it would feel to shoot my past in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more lethal than comfort. I don't work. I slay. Last person I loved thought I was too reckless. They lost. I never you know got what? out of style. Hope I get some blood on these boots. I'm really looking forward to hear uh, her special interactions in the Legends of Runeterra card game as well. Yeah, I've got a feeling they're going to be really good. The color's a bit dull. Danger runs from me. The Empire values strength. Uh the only thing I miss is the special interactions in terms of she interacts with someone. I I'd love to see someone come back to her. She says something to Swain. I want to hear Swain's response. I value style. Says something to Darius. Partners. I want to hear his response. I'm the rose that survived the desert. Oh, oh well. Refugee. That label is where I draw my strength. Money buys a gun or two. Thrill buys a reputation. Why be average when I can be savage? I feel most alive when I'm walking the line. Guns and swords go together like rice and saffron. <laughs> the Ascended think they own my people. They are wrong. Life's simple. Take the shot or lose the chance. Swain's theme in the background. Love my it. folks keep telling me to settle down. <laughs> Not my style. Thrilling! Ha! Maybe I'll get a tattoo to celebrate the occasion. Okay, good. Really good special interactions. Um, how I imagined her voice to be is exactly like that. Like I was saying before, I'm looking forward now to listen to her interactions in the Legends of Rune Terror card game. But like I think I mentioned maybe on a couple of other special interactions, it's one way I'd like to hear a response. You know, like listen to this. Like compensating for 
I know your type, Draven. The kind of man who's compensating for something. <laughs> like, I'd, I'd love to hear Draven's response. I'd love to hear his response. That's what I want. Um, her lines are really good, but the best ones for me is where there's a back and forth. There's actually a true interaction between the two champions. But anyways, uh, you can't have it all. Um, them interactions were really good. I'm going to finish now off with the spotlight. Let's go. Wait, here we go. Meet Samira, the desert world. As a young Shuriman, she made a name for herself among the war bands of Noxus by taking on the most dangerous uh -oh. missions with ease. Uh -oh. She's a gunslinging, sword swinging marksman, style above all else. Name Samira. Try not to slow me down. Whoa. Whoa. Triple kill. Think you can oh. keep up? So Welcome the to the Samira Champion Spotlight. Yeah. And she looks good. She looks pretty good. Okay. Samira's passive is her daredevil impulse. Wielding both guns and a sword, Samira can strike from a distance or melee range, switching oh. weapons automatically when she attacks. Okay. Whenever Samira hits an enemy champion, she starts building her style rank from E up to S. Each hit must be distinct from the previous one to add to the combo, so no spamming. Weave auto attacks and abilities to stack your style. The more stylish you are, the faster you move. How cool Increase is that? rank up to S to activate your ultimate. With How more on that later. If Samira leaves Ooh, combat, her yeah. style resets shortly afterward. I never go out of style. Additionally, if Samira targets an enemy affected by hard crowd control in her attack range, she will knock them up into the air, unleashing a flurry of shots at the same time. Juggling ain't just for clowns. Samira's Q is Flare, and she's got plenty to spare. She fires out a shot, and the first enemy gets got. If that enemy is in melee range, mm -hmm. Samira instead slashes with her sword. No Rose is without its thorns. This attack can critically strike for a good chunk of bonus damage. Samira's W, Blade Whirl, has a passive that grants bonus damage to attacks with her blade. When activated, Samira unleashes her inner Swordmaster and spins in a circle for a brief moment, damaging enemies and destroying enemy missiles in the area. Move over, Yasuo. The Tilt Queen is here. With her E, Wild Rush, Samira dashes through an ally or enemy within range, slashing enemies along her path. Anytime Samira gets a takedown, Wild Rush's cooldown resets, allowing her to nice. get back into or out of the fight. Messy, but effective. Activate Flare alongside Wild Rush to deal extra damage to targets along your path, or use Blade Whirl right before you dash to save a teammate. You can put it on their tab. Keep the change. You're gonna need it. Remember that style rank you built up? Once Samira earns an S grade, she can cast her ultimate, Devil, I mean Inferno trigger. Samira unleashes a sandstorm Ooh. of attacks, hitting enemies yep. in an area around her several times over a few seconds. These shots can critically strike and activate lifesteal, but not on hit effects. Hard crowd control will knock Samira out of her ultimate. So you see, I've, I know about her ultimate, but I didn't know that it was um, built up like this. So technically it's got no cooldown, has it? Technically it's got no cooldown. So look for Ooh. the right moment to go bang, bang, bang. Wait. Taking a quick break. So you build up style to activate the ultimate. Since Samira is always okay. spoiling for a fight, this spell has no cooldown. As soon as you have enough style, go. she's ready to go again. And I'm not even looking. Samira oh. is at her best when she's weaving in and out of fights, unloading at the perfect time. Jeez. During the laning phase, she styles on enemies who depend on skill shots and forces them to fight on her terms. Pair her with an engage support oh, for some flashy it. plays in the bot lane. That's pretty good gank as well, but... Team oh, well. fights are where Samira really gets lit. Build style by weaving autos in between each ability as you go. Inferno Trigger can interrupt Blade Whirl, so when you see your moment, press W for a quick final stack and clean up with Inferno Trigger. With such a short range and only one escape tool, choosing the right fights with Samira is mm. the difference between living mm -hmm. fast and dying young. Came all this way to die? Hmm? Oh, Be Caitlin. careful about oh, being Caitlin. too wild with Wild Rush. Going in at the wrong time or on the wrong target can turn Samira into Sad Mira. Settle down, sweet cake. Got it. Ready to show off your play style in the bot lane? Play Samira, the Desert Rose. Check out the links in the description below to learn more about this flashy marksman. Now, right. ready for some pizza? Wait, okay, got caution. Okay. Um, that was good. Really good to finish off with her spotlight. Really interesting abilities. I like the fact that she's ranged, but also also she's ranged, but she's also uh, a melee, a melee, 
uh, champion as well. And it's particularly her ultimate. Her ultimate is really unique. I don't think there's anything actually like that that I'm aware of in League so far. So really good to finish off on her spotlight. So yeah, I think I'll leave it here today, guys, in this one. Hopefully you enjoyed my thoughts and reactions um, to Samira and everything regarding this as well. And if you did, feel free to let me know. Feel free to like, comment, and maybe also subscribe for more content like this. The next champion, I think, is Sion. I think it's Sion that's next, which will be next week. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.